Mm. Hello and welcome back to Pepperoot Gaming. I'm Dragoon. And I'm Doug. Thanks for watching. I do want to play a little more Hydraneer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because if work is so fun, why not do it at home and at work? Let work. Yeah, I forgot that we came all the way out here. Okay, we'll just buy the land. Brought the money. Wait. Be a past ignore me. Oh, our, uh... Stream name is Audio Test Ignore. What? Yeah. Forgot to swap that. <laughs> I did. Done. Now it should be not that. There we go. Things are deep and dark. I'm lost. Where's I? There it is. Is there a sprint button? Assume, well, I was going to say shift, but you don't have one of those. Yeah. Try and find our way home. Another way. Still got that map? No, I think it's uh, funneling dirt into everything. Is... About that. <laughs> okay. Are there different items right in that shop? Right. There are. Um, I mean, but again, we don't have any money. We just look in the window right. shop. No, we can get back to business. Unless there's something there that we should check out. Well, now you have me second guessing it. Well, of course. All right, let's check it out. Maybe there is something that we should save up for. Well, there's lots to save up. There's nothing we have money for. <laughs> Bump up in priority, I suppose. Our vehicles are here. I don't know what the differences are. I think primarily speed. Not just color. <laughs> is the scrapyard where you can trash resources that you don't need anymore. Hey. Out here. Conveyor Nation. Where all the conveyor belts are. And conveyor belt accessories. It's good to know. Fancy furniture. So there's house building in this. There is, but it's primarily, I mean, it's just for fun. It's part of the reason everything is so expensive, because it's like, gotcha. well, you have a bunch of money, what are you going to do with it? This is, yeah, here we go, tools and equipment. Here's where you can get gauges and water filters, valves to hook onto things to be able to turn them on and off. Let's see. Guessing the next Better tier pipes. open pipes. Yeah. This looks like a better smelter. smelter. Yeah. Here's the funnel. Over at its own. Logic compressor. It's a compressor gem compressor, compressor that you can. Uh... Okay. Does it just like take small cut gems and makes them into larger? I believe that exactly. Yep. Probably feed stuff into it. Um, like dump it all in and then just smashes them all together so you can kind of automate it I'd imagine here we go here's that magnet on a stick 
Makes it easier to collect resources. Cool. How much is that guy? 400 something. Yeah. That's a pricey magnet. Yeah, but it, um, you know, collects everything and then you can lift and dump everything in the bucket. It's super hel helpful. Okay. Else. Grinding wheel cuts gems. It's only 84. That's at the other store, too. Okay. I definitely need to grab one of those shortly. Cooler where you can sell things. Wizard Tower. More housing. But this is more practical stuff. Steps, foundations, walls. In sheets, which are you these are super helpful. Not only can you use these yeah. as ground to walk around on, but these are great for um, funneling resources to and from things. I was just thinking for our little project back home. Well, it's only three. It's six. There's. I want to pick up the money and then the come map. back with the truck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to use what you have. Oh yeah. The flat one be better than uh, the corner one? It depends if you can place the corner one upside down. Yeah. Maybe we can butt two corner ones up against each other. Hmm. But I, I do believe that the ridges are uh, actually physics enabled, so I think if you get things rolling down this, they will like stay in one of those channels. Yeah, but we've got the uh, the outline that way when you hover over it. Pretty cheap, so we can probably just buy a bunch. It's just two and three, I think I saw. All right, take me home. I've got digging to do. This neon sign. Fancy. It says new. Ooh, power and logic. Power. Redstone. Something like it. Sure. Uh, okay. Mini nukes. <laughs> <laughs> a counter. Reader, ability readers. All this different automation stuff that I don't think we're quite at yet, but soon. Pallets. Okay. Pallets well, oh. aren't free here either. <laughs> well, they're uh, they're utility. You lay down a pallet, and then you load stuff on top of it, and then everything you load on top of it becomes uh, you know, physics in. disabled. Nice. Yeah, and then you can Just pick like up the, the pallet. And... Exactly. Wait, you can pick it up? <laughs> Pretty sure. Quite the feet. Maybe one of those fancy vehicles has a forklift attachment. <laughs> I don't know that this game needs any more uh, challenges enabled. <laughs> Things have definitely gotten a lot better since the uh, the old days, but yeah. boy, physics used to be quite a mess. You're the one with the gamepad. You should be the one driving. Jeez. I can't imagine driving with this thing. <laughs> you have analog control. I'm over here just like rapidly tapping <laughs> W and D. That might work a lot easier. I think so. Hey, it's the cement brick that went flying out into the... <laughs> it finally landed, huh? I guess. 
guess. <laughs> Pretty sure I checked here, but uh, Good thing no one was standing there. Well, maybe someone yeah. was. Okay, yeah, no smush at the yeah. bottom. Okay, so where do we leave off? With Just a slept in the bed. giant lag spike. And it's changing over to daytime. I think the lag spike is required to change to daytime. We got the temporary setup here for the dirt. The auto digger. Got this. I think it was set up properly to spit into the sorter. You're right. We were just left off at uh, getting money. Probably right. Nail a couple of these things down. Yep. I feel like this is a. Disaster would happen. Okay. All right, so all right. Now I remember. Yep, drop dirt in here. It's sorting gold right now, so gold should spit out the side here. Everything else should spit into this. All right. Start uh, throwing buckets of dirt in there. So, what if we tore it all down? <laughs> uh -huh. it, don't eat me. <laughs> I don't at all. This is part of the, part of the fun. We set the uh, the dirt digger thing down at like this level, since okay. this is you know the lowest we got at the moment, kind of. And then below that, we put the the uh, separator, this thing, so it spits right into it. Absolutely. I think the only thing that was preventing us from doing that earlier was the lack of plumbing. And plumbing's cheap, right? Not super cheap, but cheapish. It's cheap adjacent. Twenty-two. Twenty-five for the bends. Twenty-eight for the T's. And the pressure tank, which increases the water pressure, is one forty-two. That's not bad. He's run over shards, so I think we'd have um, plumbing running right up to the T. Put one of these pressure tanks on there to repressurize it. Should be in business. I will. Uh, Twenty-three. We'll get working filling up some buckets. Doing manual work to get our hole bigger. Don't let you worry about. Getting it all placed properly. Oh. Gee, thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> you deal with fiddly physics. <laughs> I think I might rage quit if I have to. down the gold that we have.
behold, a very tiny gold bar. Hey, we can make a nose ring with that. Is it? There's another cement block over here. Does it duplicate? Well, or are they just yeah, raining? I am concerned. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's up. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess keep an eye out. We are spitting dirt all over the place. Yeah, I think that's when we had the dirt accumulator set up and it um, I didn't have anything to collect great. into. Yeah, the, the dirt clouds kept getting bigger and bigger until they started rolling out and then flying out. 235 for this bar. Not bad. So let's Probably check the stock market you real need. quick. Yeah. They're still doing iron bars and they're saying their economy is in the tank. Yes, shift is run for me. So I'd imagine mapped somewhere on your board. Boy stick. The run Tried button. every button. No luck. <laughs> it's not it's not a huge speed increase. Didn't try pressing in the joysticks though. Oh, I think that might be. I'd have to see my character from third person, but I think I'm going a little bit faster when I press in the uh, left stick. Yeah. yeah, that's faster. Hope this is enough. It has a name, you know. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm sorry, wooden cart. This whole dog yet? It's getting a bit bigger. <laughs> I think it might be at the depth that you need it to be. I don't have a ruler or anything. So can't be positive. But eyeballing it, Start I think that's like about this. right. Getting a pickaxe too. Yeah. So sorry. Uh, One twenty-five, if I remember it. Highway robbery. One twenty-two. So close. It's on sale. We can just take whatever we have here and sell it. it should be enough. Right. <laughs> Are you just making a mess over there? No. Oh, he did move the pan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do 
292. Do you know what I think is funny? What's that? There's something I've just noticed. Like, Mario came out, Super Mario, a million years ago, right? Huh? And it kind of animated, like, their traditional jump. I'm not, maybe not Mario, some some early video game, right? Where somebody's jumping and they have like their, their one knee the bent scene. and their back leg straight out. Yeah. Maybe an arm thrust into the air. But that became like the video game jump. It's It appears, looking at my shadow, to be kind of the jump in this game. Like, that that is the atypical jump in all video games. I've never seen anyone jump like that in real life. Yeah, I don't like, jump not, like not that. even close. No, I don't think anyone does. I don't think you could. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming to my talk. Oh, yeah. I was just trying to think of if I ever did that even while drinking. I think I've tried. You don't really jump. You just kind of like stumble awkwardly forward, and if you're not careful, fall over. I've done backflips into trees, but I don't think <laughs> yeah, I think I watched one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a pickaxe, maybe two. Maybe save the rest. Save the rest. Money's in the shop. All right. Now you're stuck in a hole. So you got two pickaxes? There, oh, that's not it. I just got one. But the money's oh, in the store. Okay. You should go grab another one if you'd like. Nope. You are digging furiously away with that. So I'll dig with the shovel so we don't lose all resources. Oh, I'm sorry. What are these tiny little chunks of voxels here? Uh, that would mess. be the difficulty <laughs> of moving the joysticks. <laughs> the difficulty of seeing brown on brown. Uh, that too. That adds to it, yeah. Mostly, though, I, I turn and hit the button. And if I actually dig, then I call that a success and move on. <laughs> Not a lot of aiming going on. That's a whole lot of little successes for you. That's got to feel great. Did, did you see how long it took me to line that up, dig, and notice that I didn't get the little voxel? Who's a little champion? You like are. 20 seconds to do it. <laughs> 20 seconds if you're winning. Of mine there. Start spitting stuff out here. Where that magnet on a stick would really come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Trapped you. Okay. Should work it. Steel.
Okay, I'm gonna break this. Go for it. setting already. Five minute days. I guess we can crank the gamma up so high. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Coming lag spike. We're not. Yeah, it only, only seemed the first time. We did that last time too for some reason. Hmm. Gonna run to this. T off. Go down that. Sorter. Okay. Expect just about none of this to work first time. Did we lose the pickaxe already? Or not. Those are two shovels. Is it under the foundation? <laughs> oh, no, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> can't build there.
all the way down there. That's what I want. Sometimes I really think this game is trolling. <laughs> Try a different approach. Yeah. A piece of foundation under it and hope for the best. For a second. There we go. So putting dirt into a bucket that's full of water makes the dirt disappear. Okay. Oh no, it doesn't. Weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, do you mean a bucket or a pail? Because I think there are differences. Um, the bucket was in the water when I was filling it up when I pulled it out it had no dirt in it so I dumped it into the pail and then the pail had water in it and then the bucket had like a, a half a thing of dirt <laughs> so you could Which, dump it twice? yeah <laughs> that's fun But it was enough dirt to get a little piece of gold. Huh? How's that project coming? Good, I think we're almost there. Nice.
sorts out under the sorter and spits the spare out. Okay. You bend. You bend. I, I think we'll actually have this. Cool. I'm selling off a block of gold right now. I did not bring a pail. That's all right. Oh, you can just carry the cash back. One seventy. Eleven. Oh, it's like because I'm. Oh, that's weird. It's when I'm looking at yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Dragoon, I need to see how much money we have. Look at my screen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. That's pipes. Got a shut off valve. What else? The 221. Um, I guess we could look at additional hand sorters. I don't know how well that's going to scale. May not need it. Well, let's we'll see what we can do with what we have. Yep.
Is that on double ground? That's why. Oh, uh, the slant of the earth, the uh, area up here. Or it was that tiny speck of unthinkable dirt. <laughs> yep, sure, why not? <laughs> oh my god. So I think all that is good. We go ahead and preemptively tack it all down. Two here, so oh yeah, we're more angles. These two. I don't do it. I got one. I'm a genius. Oops. Legendary behavior. <laughs> or <laughs> terrible engineering, so you buy stuff so you can hopefully make it work. <laughs> We don't have to adjust the pressure. Um, I got a pressure valve here that will increase it. Yeah, that cost the uh, the shards, right? Yep. Does increasing it when it's not needed make things run faster? Um, I think there's a maximum speed. So, like, this pumps in, and I believe, 100%. And every pump drops it off a little bit. This just puts it back to 2%, or whatever the inlet was.
Okay. Goes. Whoops, I need another curved piece. Bought one. Okay. Grinder is grinding. Harvester looks primed to chuck it in the hole. Looks like a good angle. Worst case, we just go get one of those magnets and come back and clean it up. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, what do you want to sort first? Uh, I've been getting a more gold than iron at that depth, I think. Although, you're, you've got that at the top level, so probably iron first then. around all over the place. We're going to preemptively get two concrete blocks. Theoretically, should work. Yeah. I don't know about the aim, but... Uh... Just gotta turn on the thing. Handle on the drill. <laughs> Did she think I was good? It is. See? Yep. That's two for two. Three. <laughs> That's how you use them. Oh, map. one fell out. <laughs> Four for five, that's not bad. Put some blocking or it, which should uh, fix that problem. Yeah. Is it going to the proper buckets? Did not check. Here we got gold spitting out the front. I should probably stop that and put a nail down. Sapphire. Is that by the emerald, I guess? Sure. Or not. 
fifth one list. <laughs> this is need that funnel. Yeah. Remember how much that was? I think the funnel was expensive, but the plating was terrible. The funnel, I think, was a hundred something. The piece of roofing was about working that pretty size. well. Yeah, it just misses one every once in a while. I love how they're all barely making it in. Yeah. <laughs> the best kind of machine. The one that barely works. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> that was a really that close was... one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is next? Next. We scale up. The second one built lower. Anvil for Triple creating jewelry. Yeah, we could start processing the other things. We could expand this out so that uh, we we sort everything. I, I think sorting everything, because that, that's what's really going to be the biggest time suck. Great. Pulling out the individual ones from that. Okay, so we have oh, we, gold, some more hand iron, the uh, power gems, emeralds, yep. sapphires. I think rubies too. Maybe we just have a all else bucket for the the gemstones. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea because I think we have to cut all of them. So yeah, it doesn't really matter when you have to take them all out and polish them on a wheel anyway. So gold, or iron, uh, crystals, and then uh, gemstones. The gemstones. We need three sorters, or two more sorters. Two more? We've only got one. Yeah, that one will do iron, and we'll have one for gold, and then another one for the power crystals. Pull the three. Oh, right, and that power crystal one would spit out the other side. You are correct. See, this is why you do the logical stuff. <laughs> so I can make it barely work. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. I bet we're gonna have to get into spanners soon. Everything's working, but you know, it'll oh, start wow. breaking eventually. Buy a piece of iron way down there. Got it. A snack. Not getting away from me. Where they really do shoot out of there with force. So we'll have to either get into conveyor belts or we'll have to aggressively stagger the sorters downward. Stacking the sorters downward would be a cooler looking thing. Yeah. Might have to move everything <laughs> over one to the right to have enough room to do so. 
We are in the corner, yeah. Alternatively, we could just manually stop it and then take that bucket to dump it into a, a sorter up here. That's true. I think that's a good stopgap option. I could tee that off again here. Yeah, let's do that. Seem to be missing more often now for some reason. <laughs> Game does not tolerate winning. Plenty off. a piece of dirt into the sorter accidentally. So now there's dirt at the bottom of our bucket. If you don't have it. It's flat just out shy. If we uh, go to that town again and check the price on the uh, the conveyor belts and grab a piece of roofing. Yeah, that's probably good. Maybe a funnel to uh, melt some let's bars. Process what we have. That's how you process heavy machinery, right? You just jam stuff in there with your bare hands? Yeah. Perfect. Huzzah! That's the iron bar. Three hundred and fifteen. Nice. And with the hundred that we have, nicely. This yep. up there. Put that there. We put our bucket here. Tertiary pail. Drop that there. And just dump this into the big thing, into the sorter, and it should yep. sort it for you. Not completely mess free, but faster than doing it by hand, I guess. Oh, yeah. A couple of funnels, and this gets, uh, 
a lot quicker. We're supposed to empty, right? That's it. Yep. Geronimo! Right. Pretty good size bolt, bolt bar. Good. Sell this and then make a run to town. Uh, if you could be so kind as to get a bucket of water and dump it into the back of the roof of the truck. Okay. It runs on water. Of course. <laughs> Dumping it up on the top of the truck. <laughs> yeah, it's gravity fed. Gravity fed gas tank. Guess you don't have to worry about it shutting down in the rain. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see the tank. Thank you. There's... Yep. I think there's a meter somewhere. That's all it is. Even it's on an advanced model. Visually, it was pretty full. I think there used to be a gauge. I don't know. Okay, money's in the back with you. Oh, all right, money will be in the back with me. Yeah. <gasps> Tell me where I'm going. It's kind of what I remember. <laughs> Go straight and, you know, avoid the rocks. Whoa. <laughs> and then you're going to go across that bridge. Right. When you fall off, I'll tell you where else to go. Not gonna happen. Here, take a right. And then at the next junction, I think you want to take another right. Drop of the lamppost. There's no durability to this thing, right? No. Thank goodness. <laughs> Especially if you've... And then take a right here as well. Still in? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> For now. Be bright. Welcome to Bridgeport. Wow. We made it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and pull a little farther forward. You should be. There's a, hey. a ding in the front of the car. Is that for me? <laughs> uh, no, that's been there. Okay. All right, let's get some of the important things first. Uh, the roofing piece? Is that here? It's here. Roofing piece. And a long piece, a couple short pieces. It's used by manuscripts to channel resources. Are you trying to figure out how the best way to use it. I guess we could turn these tin sheets into walls. These are sheets. Oops. Some sheets, too. Huh? Huh? 
19 bucks sold. Bottle is 110. It's probably. We already bought one more, so, so we just need one more. Okay. Bottle of two sorters now. Well, we could even buy their table. <laughs> Thank goodness. One conveyor piece is 220. 240 for the corners. Well, yeah, they go two directions. What else do we need? We need a grinding wheel soon, but we don't need that now. You already get a funnel? I did not. conveyor hook things sound pretty interesting. Yeah, they'll snap right on top of them and then do different things. That'd be fun yep. to get into. Yeah, they are cool. Oh yeah, this one will polish gems that go through it. There's yeah. a lot of stuff. Split some. Stand. These are new. These are all out of our price range for now, though. Yeah. So what do we still need? Well, we got a funnel. We got some metal pieces. Um, I guess we need another sorter. Water filter hooks, too. Those are handy. And the water, uh, the pressure gauge will tell you what pressure you're at. Jeez, did you see the press on the smelter? Oh, boy. I do now. That'll be a while. Now, oh, Claudium. 250% pressure. The anvil's cheap. Yep. This, and then we can start smelting, refining some of these uh, iron bars that we're getting. Mm -hmm. Should do a fishing pot sometime, too. Should have enough. Why don't you grab one? Really? Nice. 356? Yeah, we got 588. Huh? Alright, got about 180 f so. There we got a grinding wheel. We don't yet. We're grinding the gems, so we might want to grab that. Okay, got about a hundred. Is this all just world building and lore over here? Uh, I think that is the old vehicle shop. And, uh, when he moved everything, the developer moved everything, he shut that one down. He's gonna turn it into something else in the near future.
Anything else? Oh, but you were stealing his table. Yeah, that's the uh, anti-theft mechanism. <laughs> Trying to get away with something so cheap. We'd have at least gone with the uh, auto dumping smelter. <laughs> I was watching, um, there's another channel, Let's Game It Out, that has played a few patches of this. In fact, there might be a sign somewhere with his name saying that he's, you know, wanted for high crimes or something. But he found a way to get things out of the shop without paying for them and uh, generally break the game. I thought he was around somewhere, but I can't remember. Let's load these things up. Up, 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 up. That didn't uh -huh. stay. Like so, it. at a hundred bucks left. Not bad. Or do we need anything else? Should we get any more uh, scrap? Here we go. <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> this must be where he was stealing things from. Yeah, these are the most expensive items. some huh? stairs. Yeah, that could be handy. Fourteen bucks left. Try harder than that, I think. I think the anti theft mechanic has gotten a lot better. I think it had to do with like flipping things out, getting them to move on their own. reach far with it. I'm guessing as soon as they leave the area they just disappear regardless of whether you're holding it or not. Sit back. All right. Oh, you trust me at driving again, huh? <laughs> hey. Somewhat. Let's figure this out. Might be able to go straight. straight. That's the bridge we crossed over. But I don't know if we're going to be able to go uphill. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Go to the right of that uh, well into the river.
Turn right. It's the bridge we came across, and you want to go left somehow. <laughs> Good for humans, not for trucks. We got this. Speed. Red approach. You're right. And there you go. I thought that was going to be the story of how we lost uh, $700 worth of stuff. <laughs> Washed downstream. Nice work. Where should I park it? A little bit farther forward. Yeah, right about here is good. All right. Let's start with funnel. So high. Not how I expected that to go. All right. Let's not right. start with the funnel. This would have to be a funnel onto a conveyor belt. Or just be lower. one too far <laughs> yeah that's the long one bought both just to okay. be sure okay that should work pretty well i think that looks pretty Better perfect stuck Turn that off and then get a, a pan in place. Uh, what do we want to sort? I'll stick with gold. Is all this hammered down in place? Looks like uh, it. Yes. It's a little worried that I'd be accidentally picking something up and breaking everything. A second thing. <laughs> okay. Put a little bit of dirt there at the top. <laughs> Got the, uh, wherever that hammer is. There we go. Oh, I was gonna stick a foundation in there. Oh, that works too. Can't build there. No reason. It's because I put a dirt blob there. Clean it out. I'll just move the stairs. You win, game. No. Let the game win. Is this still sword? Is there... Oh. Well, I put that plate there, yeah. and it works great as a back box, but I don't know if it passes materials through it. <laughs> Find out.
guess fish just appear at some point. Those do still come. Need some more pans. All right, we have 14 bucks. It's enough to get one more. We'll spit out and then we'll have everything else over there so then set up over here Need another tea. Some more foundations to make our deer. down there. Not much. I guess we could turn the sucker back on.
thing of beauty. Not that it misses like just enough. Such a troll man. At least we got the top all worked out. Stop it for a second if you could. Are you up there? Yep. <laughs> Dude, that works. We just uh, did another setup and have multiple going, I guess. Yeah. Maybe get four of these guys going into the same grinder. Finally. Um. I think that is the tough part about that is I think it requires a metal we don't have yet. Um, I think uh, once we start digging more, or maybe at some point in here, this is just um, we'll get cloudium. Cloudium you can refine, then that to turn into one of those things. Yeah, that was fancy. For those who are a bucket, just give you a bucket. A bunch of those lying around.
Okay, we got a fish. Did we get more? Or do we have to empty it at one? Probably have to empty it at one. Jam it in there. That would have dropped a fish. <laughs> Two dudes looking at a net trying to figure out how to get the fish out. get through the net. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Just the way he daintily held that over the yeah, <laughs> the cut gems and dropped it in. That's that good. <laughs> what are we doing here? Is it still going? Doesn't look like it. Turn that back on. So this is going to be our crystal bucket, as it's already here. Mm -hmm. Iron bucket, it's already here. I guess this will be the transfer bucket. These need to be powered though, right? They do, which is why I all these gems. Take one fish, all these gems, see what we get, and buy some plumbing parts and get those going. Okay. You should pull the fish out on its own and see how much that's worth. They do have different sizes, and different sizes are worth different amounts. Let's see. The herring it's is seven. seven bucks. That much. But the net was what, like 40? Yeah. So it'll quickly make up that much. There's also a throwable TNT. If you ever <laughs> want to get to the bottom. We already have the pickaxe. Grab one of these tea pieces. Wait.
should be the TP yep. safe. Yes, it should. Finding the rotate buttons. Nope, that's not Nailed it. it. I'm just backing away. <laughs> <laughs> I think I pressed everything but the jump button. I don't fit in the funnel. One more piece. I do. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Serves you right. You could troll me if this was locked. Be able to pick it up with you in it. Well, if, if you hammered it down, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I have to torture you by making you use the controller. Our enough. sorting machine should work. It should, for the most part, work. Turning her off of above. Okay, you can turn it on. Zone. Okay, sort the iron. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how well that worked. But we should raise these up a little bit so we could utilize those funnels. But that would make yeah. our life a lot easier. Okay. Bunch of crap. Not so good. Bunch of gems. Nice. size iron bar. Nice. So we can probably pull set up over here. Looks like a lot of gold down there too. We got a broken machine. Matter of time. We have a spanner. Oh, we can. Not yet. Uh, should be able to afford one. Let's do this. One piece of iron. There's more. Remember exactly how this works. That gem. Take one of those. Let's 
sapphire. Oh, we don't have any gold. Yet. I just pulled the pail up. Some more iron. Take this iron bar. Fire and get it hot. Here. Uh. Use a magnet now. I'm going to assume that I've had this hot enough or this iron is enough. Recess the uh, the kiln or furnace, forge, whatever it is in the ground. I think we can do this. the gold out first though. Still has gold in it, right? Yep. Any more gold? Probably not. Nope. That's it. A good size gold bar. Yeah. That might be the biggest one yet. Well, then let's turn this into some jewel. How this work? I'm missing. Maybe you have to put that in the forge instead of the crucible. Well, that'll definitely heat them up. But I think it just needs to get them red hot, which this uh, did. Just wasn't hot enough. Maybe. It's glowing now. Here, why don't you take the hammer? Oh boy. Got it. So, clicked on the anvil until the right thing I wanted showed up. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the stakes should be one gold bar, one gem. Should make a ring. I'll throw this on. Okay. Ta -da. Is the gem in there? Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. Cool. We're gonna be rich. How much you want to bet? Um, three forty. Three forty. There's a big thing of gold. Okay. It's down like the stock market. Three forty. I'm gonna say four fifty. Six eighty four. Oh, hey yo. We can get into some conveyors now. <laughs> get a spanner, get that going. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's what, one one hundredth of the way to the next location, too, right? So spanners are one-time use? Yes. Maybe grab a, a magnet too while we're over there. Here. How much do we have left? Uh, spanner is just 50, so about 600. I bought two of them, just in case. I know the, the grinder is going to go soon. 578. Five, uh, the magnet was 400 something. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe we can't get into conveyors and magnet. And I need the, the magnet right now. We can probably get into yeah. conveyors. We could use conveyors more than we can use anything else. We have enough for one. Yeah, the the basic one was like two forty something like that. Eat the beast. How much the. Uh... Gem cutting one was the hook. Oh yeah, that would be a great add-on. Oh, well, the gold mist. Back to my statement about the magnets. close. Yeah, fix before the next one shoots out. Just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Off the rim! Okay. Bunch of gems, right? Yep. Do we save them for more rings or sell them as is? Oh. Let's sell them. Yep. We'll get more gems anyway. Looks like you're adding to it. is in the truck. Run up and sell this. Yep. 
Ah, on the hidden. If it wasn't all that hidden. Right. <laughs> no, it's very mysterious. It's very hidden. Oh, this must be where you put those, uh, the secret items that you were talking about before. Yep. There's a door in there that opens to let you into something special. No idea what it is. I wonder if I can clip through the wall. I believe there was some anti-clip protection built in. <laughs> okay, 693. That's not bad. Well, you're already in the truck. Yeah, waiting, waiting on, on you. Me. Coming. Good. You're good. Good. If you want to go quicker, you can just launch off the bridge instead, off to the right. Oh, okay. Yeah, straight ahead there. Is there like a tiny rock block in our way there? <laughs> I think the hill's just too steep. You're too steep. Masterful, as always. Yep. You're doing okay, great. I got this. <laughs> Thankfully, it's shallow. Well, we got that big snorkel on it, right? Ayo! What's up, Aiden? Sorry, I'm chatting another screen. Hopefully, I haven't. Uh, conveyors. Over here, right? Yeah, right there. Okay, straight piece. It's 220. Corners are 240. Vertical conveyor. I feel like maybe we get vertical convey. Start conveying that stuff out. Mm -hmm. Need a flat for it to land on. Vertical conveyor to bring it up. Hmm. With a vertical, well, we would need more of them, but we could do yeah. vertical conveyors to bring the dirt from the bottom of the world. Where there's the most resources. Oh, you're thinking... Alright, so dig, spit the dirt onto there, lift it up. Yeah. And, uh... Okay. That might have to be another episode. Definitely. But we're we're getting to that automated point where this is happening a lot quicker. Okay, but we're going to need straight pieces anyway. So we can get two of the straight conveyors and this gem... Sure, this is 462. But, let's see. Just enough. And we should be able to dump a bunch of gems on there, and then it would polish them all as they go across. Right. As long as it works for think? just one conveyor belt. <laughs> Want to find out? Yeah. Worst case, we just come back with a little bit more money and grab a second one. Okay. That sounds like a good way to end the episode, too. Yeah. With success or failure. Or both. As we are prone to do. I'll let you drive this time. 
at your own peril. Take us home, Sam. So what's this place? Um, Doesn't look like it has shops. I think there's a stock market. Something here. Not a stock market. This does... Weapons. Plus the market value. I thought there was something there, too. Check that out real quick. The stock market for gold bars, where demand is actually up. 105%. I've heard showing you tooltips before. Ready. Get this up there. Does that need to be powered? Yes. Looks like it powers from the bottom. Yeah, I think you run... It connects to piping. So I thought it did. Looks about the right size for it up on the bottom. So a vertical piping. Yeah. Oh, maybe it sits on top of piping? see. Oh, it does. Yeah, you put oh, okay. it right over a piece of pipe and snaps on it. That's good. Are so good. Okay, machines shut off. Let's go grab our... oh, the meager savings. Hold on. All right. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that magnet? Put this back in the hole and start it back up, I guess.
Like most of it's actually in there. Yeah, I was just wondering about that. It's, they look clumped together, hanging off the side. I'm afraid to lift it up and find out, though. Um, a lot of iron here. Yeah, there is. Let's see what the maximum size bar is. It, I think what ends up happening is it makes a, a really giant bar, um, but then it just starts increasing in value, but staying at the maximum size. I think that's what I remember. But okay. So we have that. We have that. I think we're ready to sort this one. Boxes are. This is where the, the funnels sort of come in handy. Yeah. We're too cheap for funnels, so. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I was worried right. it wouldn't handle them all at once. Oh. That's excellent. Awesome. Okay. We got a bunch of iron. And do we have any... How much gold do we have? Probably a good amount, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's still down in the hole. Let's let's smelt that. Maybe we can. Why aren't you melting? I have another ore in Just it. Just has to get hot. Uh, it doesn't, have to, it doesn't take that long. That's broken. Alright. Took a very long time. might have to be the next thing we go for. Yeah. <laughs> they are really or handy. just get the magnet. Ah, the magnet's manual, though. You gotta go automatic. Yeah. Do the whole fix instead of the band-aid. There you go. Pretty giant. So far. It is. Okay. Make a ring, maybe a sword.
got the gems. In preference? Nope. Which one's worth an nice emerald? Uh, I don't know. They might all be the same. They might just be pretty colored variants. One emerald ring. One massive dagger. Fit that's a dagger? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that sword's gonna fit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is huge. A cloud breaker. Knife. <laughs> Good call back. <laughs> oh, nailed it. Hey, that one fish. Nope, no fish. A fish? He's empty. Maybe we have to move locations. It was a little too advanced to be a mechanic. Okay. <laughs> so we have a, on a, my a ring for a giant and a gratuitous uh, dagger. Let's see how much this is worth. Any bets? Um, the ring was decent size, and we got 600 in the last one. I'm going to say uh, 1,100 for all of it. Say 13. What was the more optimistic? 15. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Bears. Here we go. Oh, look at that stack. <laughs> Next to that <laughs> stack of money. It's, it's probably a good place to call it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys, and uh, look forward to the next one. Conveyor Nation. Have a good night. Bye.